Hi guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'll talk a bit about Redbubble and Printful, which both are print-on-demand services. And I'll give a little bit of a review and my honest opinion. So let's get right into it. So what is a print-on-demand service? You can make your own designs and upload them on a website and the website will take care of the production and sending the package for you which is very handy it's like a way of making passive income almost passive income is when you don't have to do that much to earn a bit money a bit extra money on the background so i have been using redbubble and a little bit of printful in the past two months i think um, i'm actually so happy I'm still able to make this video because there were some problems which I will get into later in this video. But to be clear, I only ordered from Redbubble to see the items and to see if the quality is good, if you know what I mean. I haven't ordered from Printful yet because it was getting a bit expensive. <laughs> I can show you the items that I got from Redbubble and a friend of mine also ordered at Printful to see if her products are good so I can give a little bit of a review coming from her so first of all I'm super excited about the t-shirts from Redbubble I wasn't planning to order t-shirts because I'm usually a bit skeptical well especially Erich is very skeptical skeptical <laughs> skeptical <laughs> about uh, the quality of the products like the way it's printed um, but I think it turned out really nice. I ordered this pink t-shirt with my snail design on it. Also, all the links to my Redbubble and stuff like that will be in the description, of course. And I think the quality is actually kind of nice. Um, I think it's made with a heat press, of course, because that's a lot easier compared to screen printing. And of course, if you have a design like that, it's a bit hard to do screen printing but i think it looks so cute i have another t-shirt as well but i don't have it with me at the moment but i'll put a picture on the screen i'm actually happy with the quality of the t-shirt it's also gilden or hildon i don't know how to say it which is a, a decent t-shirt brand then i also i designed a pokemon pattern and i ordered this pouch and i think it's really cute the quality is it's fine like it's a canvas fabric and I really love this pouch I don't know what I'll use it for yet then I also got this booklet you can choose what you want in the inside of the booklets and I think the quality also is you know it's okay I'm so happy I have this booklet now I don't know what I'll use it yet what I use it for yet but it will definitely be used because it's super cute although I say so myself and the quality is actually good like also the paper feels really nice then I have one more thing to show and that's almost everything but actually not everything has arrived yet but I'll talk about that soon I ordered this sticker and this also looks super super cute it's like kind of a weird format it's like one sticker comes like this but you know, it's very nice and uh, the envelopes are Redbubble themed, as you might expect. By the way, my hair is wet, um, but I don't have time to wait until it's dry, so I had to record this video. There still are two items I need to receive, which is a computer mat and a button. I'm actually kind of, kind of surprised the button hasn't arrived yet, because I was expecting it to be very easy to manufacture. But now I'll, I'll tell the big story um, of my problems I had with Redbubble. When I originally placed my orders on my own website, I typed in my city and it automatically turned the city into another city for some reason. But I talked to customer service about it and they said that could be able to happen. So if that happens, you just have to contact customer service. But I was like, I am. Uh, that city is so close to my city, they'll probably know what I mean with the address, but no, like, you have to place the right address, like 100%, which is kind of logical, and I'm kind of a dum-dum, but I just was like, oh, they'll probably know where it will have to go, which turned out into me 
waiting weeks for it to arrive and it never arrived and I was so upset about it I was actually like my my emotional state was so influenced because I was planning to make this video for a while already <clears throat> and but I did contact customer service and they actually sent everything again which was super super nice um, I actually didn't expect that to happen so big thumbs up for Redbubble for doing so and then they manually adjusted my address so that it would arrive to my house and it, it actually did it for the most part I'm only waiting for two more items so I'm so happy they like sent everything twice which brings me to another part and that's customs fees which I really hate. Um, the thing with Redbubble is it's a bit complicated. They don't really have any clear explanation as to where they manufacture the items. As far as I know, they look where you're located and then they pick out the closest, the, the country which is closest to you, which is able to manufacture that item. And sometimes they also have like a problem with the manufacture, manufacturing at the closest country so then they look for the second closest country as far as I know so it's a bit complicated and I can't really provide information as to where your item will be printed because sometimes they just decide where it will be printed after you've placed your order what I've noticed I ordered three items of which I know um, were made in the UK which is very close to me, but the UK isn't part of Europe, so I had to pay 25 euros each time for each item, um, which was a bit annoying, and I only paid for one of the items, which is a computer mat, which hasn't arrived yet. But I really wanted the computer mat, because <laughs> I actually want to use it for when I have my studio. The other items were the apron and tote bag. I was kind of surprised by the tote bag, because I was expecting it to be um, printed for example in Germany where the t-shirts were printed I was like yeah that's kind of an easy thing to print but it was printed in the UK so I also had to return that item I returned the apron and the tote bag although I'm, I'm kind of sad because I wanted really wanted them but I didn't want to pay another 25 euros for each item as I did with the computer mat so what I know is that t-shirts were printed in Germany and the booklet the sticker and the pouch and also the, the pen, I guess, um, were, were made in Europe, which is very good for me because I don't want to pay custom fees and I wish there was a way they could express where they printed their items or if there would be a possibility for you to need to pay for custom fees because, like, I guess if you live in the USA, they'll pick countries that are close to you I know I had a lot of stress about it because I ordered items and I didn't even know if I would receive them because I was pretty sure I wasn't going to pay for customs fees because most of the time it was more money than what I've paid for the item itself so I was like I'm just gonna get it sent back I'm going to look into my notes as to what I've written Another thing about Redbubble, I think it's very easy to set up your shop and to set up the items it was very user-friendly. The only thing that I kind of hate is the way that they present your shop. They only offer like, they only show one item per design and I wish you could select which items were shown because I have a few very specific favorites that I have of which I have wished you could just select them and show them at the front of your shop. But you can see the designs on one item each or you can just see the design itself and then click on it and see all the options for each design and i think that's kind of i don't know i would i would definitely do that in a different way that you can choose which products you sh you've shown and that you'll be able to show multiple products per design because you know i've ordered a lot of products with the pokemon design <laughs> so i wish i could show more of those products on the front page of my shop but it was very easy to set up and it's also easy because people can find you on Redbubble they don't need to follow you but I've heard it's very difficult to sell on Redbubble if you don't really you know if people don't really know you I've had one other order besides my own order which is from a friend and she ordered the apron and a coffee cup and she was very happy with how everything went besides that she had to pay like 
25 euros extra for the apron, which is kind of insane um, because it came from the UK. But you know, it's very easy and you don't really have to do a lot. You can just set up the shop and it's basically done. You might just have to promote it a little bit on your socials, but that's kind of it. So for my friend, the items arrived at about two weeks after ordering. Um, this wasn't the case for me, of course, because my items just never arrived. But the, at the second try, they arrived also like about after two weeks, I guess. I didn't really take notice of that. <laughs> but I'm very happy that they just sent the items again and they manufactured them from the start again. So I'm very impressed by that, actually. <laughs> So let's talk a bit about Printful now. Um, I haven't ordered from Printful yet, but I have set it up and stuff like that. And I think it's also very user friendly to set up. It's a bit more advanced, I think. You can do a bit more stuff to it, in my opinion. And you can also add labels and stuff like that. For my Printful shop, I decided to only offer items that are made in Europe, which I love because you had the possibility to check Europe in the filters to only offer to only see the products that are made in Europe and I think they are produced in Latvia as far as I know um, so I was so happy with that because that means no customs fees if because you can know it from the start I made some items you could also do embroidery which I really like because I think that's high quality you can choose, it's, it's a lot more different compared to Redbubble because you have to put it on a shop. You can use Etsy, I used Wix because I have a Wix website. You can use Shopify, you have other options but I can't just come up with how they are called. I've used Wix and you can just import the items that you choose onto your Wix webshop. I've had no problems with Wix at all, so I really recommend that option. But yeah, I can't really give a review about the items because I haven't ordered them. But my friend has and she's super super happy, especially you can order like a fleece blanket and your design is pressed on it, which sounds super insane to me because how do they do it? And the quality was very nice, she told me. She also ordered a t-shirt, but her conclusion was that her design was a bit too dark. Um, but I think that happens a lot with print, that your design turns out a bit darker if it's a, a more dark design. So you have to pay attention to that to make it a bit lighter. Um, but she was very happy with how everything turned out and maybe in the future I'll also be able to order for my Printful webshop, which basically is my Wix webshop. Um, you can just import the items onto your Wix website or whatever website you use. And then I'll be able to give a review on the items, but I guess you'll just have to support me in any way so that I'll be able to <laughs> afford it financially. I also think she told me that her items arrived after about 10 days or something and I'm guessing the items are packed together because they both come from Latvia and compared to Redbubble where each item arrives separately. Yeah, she was just very happy with it and I'm also quite happy with it because I just I can just offer my items on my webshop slash website. I don't send the items because I also have other items on my webshop like stickers and postcards which I send from home. But then there are also the printful items but it's very clear that they are print on demand. There is one thing that I really really don't get though which is the shipment fees and stuff like that. You have to enter them yourself I think. I have just not looked into it, so if anyone orders, then my shipping costs will probably don't make sense at all. So I guess I'll see that in the future, how I'll adjust that, because I think that's the only thing that's very unclear. So I think I can come to the, the conclusion that Red Bull and Printful are very different, <laughs> because Red Bull is, you know, on the Red Bull website itself, and Printful is just a way to offer print-on-demand products on your own website. And I think Redbubble is a bit easier and then Printful is a bit more targeted towards, I don't know, designers, but Printful is, so, uh, but Redbubble is so as well, so I don't know. And I'm using both and I think I'll see in the future what people give as a review. 
I am very happy about my Redbubble items. I think the quality is like fine and maybe Printful, their items are a bit better, I think. But I'm not sure because I don't have the items, but my friend was very, very happy with them. Redbubble, what's that sound? <laughs> So Redbubble also gives you the option to sell to people that don't know you but I guess for that to happen you need to have a lot of designs compared to Printful people already need to know who you are so that they can get directed to your webshop I think that's like the most important part So I really hope I helped you in a way with my honest review and my thoughts about both services and if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe post a comment with your thoughts. What do you prefer? What are your experiences? Or what are your plans even? And yeah, check out my other videos as well if you'd like. And see you in the next video. Bye bye. I hope you have a good day or night.